Hello guys, this is Drift and welcome back to your youth squad regions with Southend United. Let's start off by heading over to the office. And we see that the player has returned from injury is Drocko, centre back, so he'll be back for first team action soon. And then they'll have a look at the table and we'll see that Southend United are currently sitting in second place, three points behind Crystal Palace. Let's look to close that gap in the next game, which is up against Huddersfield Town away. And let's go for the win. And these are the kits then for the game. So here's your starting lineup then with Flinders coming into the midfield. Going to give him a try out in the starting lineup, see how he gets on. Oliveira and Alonso join him in midfield. Aluhu and Ovala, the tried and tested partnership up front, looking to score some more goals. Nunes left back, Goretzka right back, Torres, Makukis, and Benti centre backs. And his Quido, as always, plays in goal. Okay, then here we go from the kickoff. Looking to close the gap on Crystal Palace at the top of the league. What can we do? Ovalos bursting into the area now. He's going to cut onto his left foot, take a touch, and then pop it in the bottom corner. Easy as you like. We take a one goal lead straight from the start. Doesn't have any worry on his face. He just strokes out home well past the keeper. Easy as you like. His quitter looks for the quick release. Oh, he's throwing it in the wrong direction. Overload doesn't win his header either. And here's Nicky Wells. On the edge of the box, a great ball in. They pass it out wide and they've re equalised within 10 minutes. It's a great effort. Good passing, good creating space. And there's nothing this Quido could do about that. So Luhu this time looking to get us back into the game. He's come all the way around the edge. He cuts back inside. Can he finish as well? He has got it in. Smithy should be doing better. We scored two goals from the centre kick. Feel a bit bad doing it, but for some reason Huddersfield just cannot cope with it. Cuts back on his left foot. He hits it too close to the goalkeeper, who should do better, and it just dribbles over the line. Not quite as composed as Ovalar, but the goalie did a better job of trying to save it this time, I think. But not enough, obviously. And they fired the ball. And Wells cuts inside this time, looking dangerous. Finds the ball to the edge of the box. Here's the first time. And Makukis gets his head on it. That's fantastic defending. So brave. Here we go. There's a great strike. Oh, and it was actually off his leg. And it only just goes wide. It looked like it covered his head to me the first time. Okay, Hamilton swinging in the corner then. It's into the middle. We don't win the header and it's dropped down. And we get it away eventually, do we? Nunes gives away the ball to Scannell and he shoots and Nunes blocks. Let's try and get away properly this time, boys. Yeah, it's a Luhu this time on the edge of the box. Ready to the break. The ball to the front post is easy to deal with and it's been dealt with. And Luhu looks to burst away. It's Cody who's chasing him and he's done really well, strong defending. Oliveira does really well. Oh, he looked for the run of Ovalar, but just too slow. Defender came in. And the Cookies has got this one, you think. Oh, he's done the splits and it looked horrific. Here he comes in with the challenge. Gets in a good challenge and slips. Oh, and he's, he's ripped himself a new one there. Jesus Christ, that looked painful. Scannell now into Dixon. Where's he off to? It's Dixon now, feeds the ball into Holmes. He's going to look for the ball back, is he? Not quite. He does get the ball back now. And they get their shot away, and it's going to be an equaliser. Oh, it's fantastic defending. How's he managed to get that one away? Absolutely incredible. we we'll slowing down, but he gets his ball in. Can we clear it? We have done, but it's a dangerous clearance. So they get the header in, and it's going to go out for a corner. In comes the ball then, it's a dangerous one, he's got free header, he flicks it back to Nicky Wells, who's their danger man, and it's ricocheting around and Flinders can get it away. And away he comes now, defender comes in sliding on him, but he doesn't get anywhere near the ball. He's going to look side for Aluhu now, who's drifted around his man, and keeps on drifting. Flinders is in the box, can we find him? Oh, that was a perfect opportunity to set him up for a header. Aluhu misses out. Half time then and we have a 2-1 lead, two cheap goals we score, Huddersfield get one back, we've got the lead, can we hold on for the three points? Ball's in, it's a good one, Nicky Wells jumps over the goalie, if he'd have gone down he would have got a penalty there. 
But we don't mind a bit of honesty there. Aluhu then gets around the challenge. Looks to find Ovalar. He finds him. He cuts back on his left. Strikes it straight. The goalkeeper is a good save in the end. And the ball's cleared. Oh, Bente's put himself on the line this time. He's done really well for the team. But we looks to get away from them. Oh, it's a good ball. Aluhu then looks to break away. He's got the pace to get around the defender. Has he? Oh, he's been brought down. I reckon that's a free kick. The referee has given it in the end. So it'll be Alonso to take this free kick then. What can he produce? He strikes it a goal and it's a great effort and Smithies comes across to cover. Really nice strike as he bends it around the wall. Just too close to the goalkeeper in the end. It was a great effort though. The ball's back with Peltier. What can he do from here? He runs straight to Hammer and they give away the throw. That's lucky. Nice pass from Gattardi there. Finds Oliveira. He looks for Ovalar and makes a good run. Ovalar doesn't use him. Cuts away from his defender. Looks to get into the box. He's going to do the old trick onto the left foot. He's in. He strokes it. Oh, Oliveira's stopped it on the line and he was offside. Was he surely? He wasn't. And he somehow bundles it over the line. So let's see that again then. Ovalar's initial shot clipped the goalkeeper and then clips Oliveira on the line. And it's hard to say if he was offside or not, I couldn't tell you. There was a player on the line, and he finishes it off lovely jubbly. It's forced out wide. Hog picks it up, and Benzie can get that one clear. Doesn't do a very good job of it. Here's Hamill now. He's got his shot away, and it's quite open save. He's on doing that. They get the cross in. Can we deal with it? We do. It's a really good header. But the ball's going to come straight back again. And it's Dixon now. We've got players lying around on the floor. Benty comes in with a great tackle and he gives away the corner, but at least it's a bit of fresh air. It's Vaughan now, a nice little back heel. And they're giving it away. We can counter attack. Here's Gattardi. Has he got the pace? He does have some pace. He does well here. He's going to have a strike at goal. And he's put it in the roof of the net. It's a fantastic clinical finish from there. Whacks it past a goalie. He had no chance. Here we go then, he just whacks it as hard as he can, right in the top corner, from that close range there's nothing he's going to do about that. Fantastic goal. What can they do now, they've got around the midfield, they're bearing down on the defence. They're going to create something here, they're looking really dangerous. It is too late for them to get anything out of the game, but they might get a consolation. Nice ball in, and that's it, the referee blows his full time whistle, we win 4-1, resounding victory. Even though, So a fantastic start to this episode then as we win 4-1 against Huddersfield away from home. First half we were poor with only two shots but second half we came out and a fully deserved victory as we caught them at complete unawares at the back and totally destroyed them. Okay next match is up against Blackburn at home. Let's hope we can get another three points in this game. So here are the kids going into the upcoming game. Here's your starting lineup then. Dioj comes back into the centre back position alongside Bente and Makukis. Nunes and Gretzka are the wing backs. Finders keeps his place in central midfield after a good performance in the last game. Alonso and Mimbella in midfield. Ovalar and Aluhu up front. Here are Blackburn then looking dangerous from the start of this game. We haven't got the ball off them yet. And they've got the ball into the box with Rhodes. And we don't want him having the ball in the middle there. Because he's deadly in front of goal. And he's just proved that right there. As Flinders takes a tumble in the box and gives him some space, he turns and shoots and pops it in the goal. Five minutes gone. 1-0, Blackburn. Here we go then. Just too much space and he doesn't miss anything from there. Just gobbles it up. Goretzka looks forward, finds Ovalar. He plays the ball into Aluhu. And he skips around his man. He's taken out of the game. That's a free kick to us. Alonso is going to look to shoot from this range. What can he produce? He has a good strike. It's drifting away from goal and he's hit the stanchion behind the goal. Couldn't have been far wide. Good effort. Next fixture for us in up against Nottingham Forest away. A tricky game. Let's see how we get on in this one first. Ball down the line is a good one. Crosses into the box. It's a fantastic header but his Quido reads it and saves well. Ball into the box is another great ball in. Somehow it gets headed to the back, and I'm not sure whose ball it is.
Fantastic play as he reads the pass. Can he get it under control? He doesn't seem to want to. And his pass is terrible forward, and that was a chance for us if he could have brought that under control and passed it straight. But they come back now. And it's Marshall. And it's Spur. Great bit of play. And Marshall cuts inside Goretzka easily. And Rhodes. Don't let them shoot. They've had their shot, and luckily the Isquido is on top form today, saves it. Seen the run of Ovalar. Can he get it through the gap? Not quite. It's a great tackle. The sliding lunge from the defender just takes it away. Here come Blackburn again. They've been dominating this game. We haven't had much of a chance on the counter attack, but do we get one this time? Finders does well to get the tackle in, and now we can pass it away. That's a good lunging tackle. And Evans is on the ball now. Just haven't been able to get hold of the ball and get it up to the front men properly. It's been all about them. And Finders comes in this time. He's coming twice. Can he get the ball away? No. Christ, and the referee blows for half time. Goodness me. We're losing 1 0, but it could be a lot more. They've dominated the game. We can be thankful then that it is only the one goal that Blackburn Rovers have got a lead over us by. We need to improve a lot more in the second half if we want to get anything out of this game, but we have got the chance on the counter attack. I can feel that. So for the last 25 minutes, we've had a change of formation, a change of personnel. Got Gattardi, Ovalar and Aluhu playing up front in a three now. Half the sitting behind them, Mimbella and Oliveira in the midfield. And the defence is pretty much the same. Arthur steps in with a good tackle. Gattardi now looks to get around his man. He has done. He's down on goal. Can he strike this one home? Oh, he strikes it straight at Loach. It's a good save. Arthur then looks to create from this corner. What can he do? It's a nice looking ball. Can we win the header? We don't win the header this time. We head it out to the edge of the box. Ball's to Bentley. He gets his strike away and it's a good save from Loach again. Great strike. Arthur's again to swing this ball in. Who's he found this time? Oh, nobody. It's got to be our ball, I think. It is. Overall then with the throw to Aluhu. He's drifted inside. He's going to get shot away left foot. He's curled it. Oh, get someone get there. Oh, they have defended it well. It's a great save by the goalkeeper, but the ball looked like it was dropping to one of our players, but it never happened. The centre-back, he's not going to be able to cross it, I don't think. He looks for Gattardi instead. He bursts into the box now. It's on his right foot, he has the strike, and this time it's saved again by the goalie. Unbelievable goalkeeping this. And even better to react faster than that, and he hasn't. Can we get the ball back? We have done. And Makukis is standing around really in slow motion. But he somehow keeps hold of the ball. And it's forward. His Arthurs. Finds Overlow, strikes it, and Loach saves again. He's having a wonderful game, this goalkeeper. He's kept us out for the last 20 minutes. He's been unbelievable. Great strike. It was a comfortable save in the end. Can we win this header and get the ball back into their territory? No. The ball is on if Jordan Rhodes can find space, and he has done. This could be dangerous. Could be very dangerous. He's run away from goal, luckily. Oh, he's some. They've only had really maybe three chances, and they've scored two goals from them. We've had four in the last 20 minutes, and we haven't scored any. And that's what you get with Jordan Rhodes. Quality, quality finisher. Disappointed with the goalkeeper, I think. It's Guido should be doing better. It was really struck hard and low, but he's got to be getting something on that. Can't tell from that angle. It looks like he just completely misjudged it. We need this ball if we want to get anything out of this game. We just don't seem to have the ability to get the ball back off of them. They seem to be able to holding it with ease. We get the ball back this time. Can we keep it for more than a second? No. Nope. The referee blows his whistle. It's full time. We lose 2 0. We didn't deserve anything really. Our finishing was really poor. Rhodes had two chances, scored two goals. That's really the story to this game. So, Blackburn Rovers got a lot to thank their goalkeeper for. We had a lot of good chances, but he kept them all out and kept us at bay in that second half. And we were really pushing and looking for a great, great result. And they snatch a 2 0 win. Although, on paper and probably in the game, they really deserve to win. Okay, scout report from Belgium brings us back a 78, which we will reject. An 82, we will reject. A 75 to 94, we will sign him up. 73 to 94, we'll sign him up. And an 88, we will reject. Okay, so the last game of the episode then is up against Nottingham Forest away. Can we turn around the poor performance in the last game and come away with the three points? Here are the kits for the game. 
Okay, and here in the starting lineup, the Naluhu and Ovalar up front, as always, Alonso, Oliveira, and Mbella make up the midfield. Nunes and Goretzka are out wide. Makukis, Benti, and Torres at the back, and is Quido in goal. Oh, this is nice football. Sombolonga, great ball in. It's Quido comes but doesn't commit to the ball and for some reason just lets Blackstock get his sliding shot in and they score. And that's the first real mistake he's ever made that's like completely re retardedly useless. And he, that was really poor. What on earth was he doing as the ball just rolls in front of his face? Oh dearie me. Antonio then finds it in to the middle of the tees on his shoots. It's Quido does save it this time and we do well to defend it and get it away and we've been cut off by the defence again they're looking really strong in defence here another great ball over the top what can Esquido do this time he picks up the ball Sombolonga then looks to challenge Ovalo who wins the ball and then passes it sloppily into midfield and just gives the ball straight back to them there's another great ball through and it's 2-0 we're getting ripped apart here by Nottingham Forest, they're playing really well. It's another great goal. Sombolonga this time who scores. It's a nice through ball, but where is the defence? They're just getting pulled left, right and centre. Tardy finish though. Nunes comes in well, but they get the ball straight to Sombolonga. And Makukis comes in well this time. Aluhu looks to get round his man. He has done. He's got to put this one away if we want to get anything out of this game. And he has done. Get the ball, son. Let's get the... Get back into this game. Pick the ball up, you idiot. Well done. Good lad. Good little finish then on his right foot. Composed. Just strokes it home at the near post. Goalie stands there like a statue. We can win this. Come on. Looks inside. Here's Alonso. Looks to get around his man. Bundles his way into the box. He has done. Oh, get them in Bella. He slides in and he's put it in the goal. It's terrible defending. He looked like he had a little bit of a spasm. And then Bella capitalises brilliantly and toe pokes it into the goal. We're back at 2 2 and it's only the 35th minute. Here we go then. Great play by Alonso. Thought he might go down and get the penalty. And then the defender just absolutely goes off a retarded. And wow. Mimbella puts his body on the line to put us back in the game. Crunching tackle from the defender, but that's powerful play from Mimbella. Can we turn this around then? 2 0 down in the first 10 minutes. It would be an amazing recovery if we manage to win this game. Need one of the midfielders to step in and make an actual tackle rather than running past the player. They get the ball into a dangerous position now and they play it back. And Majewski into Blackstock who turns out really well. They get the chance, they get their goal. They've got a 3 2 lead now. Poor defending, in my opinion. It was a bit slow and sluggish. And we've come out the second half and again we look a little bit tired. Antonio now finds Cohen. Back to Antonio. It's fantastic football. This really causing us a lot of troubles. It's on the edge of the box. That's where they normally get their goals from. Comes across again. They get the shot away. He's put it wide. Lucky for us, we've got a chance still. Oh, and they just pass it through us with ease. We've got no urgency in midfield today. Sombolonga plays it back, and Harthas has come on and he's done well here. Oh, he's not catching that. It's a poor pass. He does get there. He looks back for him. He finds him. He gets his right foot shot away, and Clark saves well. It's poor. He should be scoring. It's a nice back heel. This one finds Alonso. He's out. He has a left foot shot. Ah, oh, he's put it well wide. I think it's a good effort. Good run. Poor execution of the shot though. And Luhu was in, but he get, getting pulled back by the defender. It's Gattardi, Sorry, who am I talking about? It's into the box, but he's got to come back. He fires it back. Oh my god, he's missed an open goal. I don't believe it's a sitter for Alonso. First time strike. All he's got to do is keep it down. He's put it an inch over. Oh, he's grazed the crossbar. How on earth has he missed this? And that was the one to get us back in the game. So the chances are we're slipping down the table now after losing a few points in this episode. Some hard fought games, but we've been disappointing. Scored a couple of goals in this game, but Nottingham Forest were always in control and always looked like they were going to win the game. So here's a look at the Peru scouting report. 75 will reject, 68 will reject, and an 88 will reject. And from England we get a 94, and we get a 76 will reject. We'll 
sign the 94, I think. Okay, guys, that's the end of this episode then. Disappointing few games for us there. We drop down into third position now behind Cardiff City by two points. Hopefully in the next episode we can make up for that and get some wins under our belt and look to push on because we want to get automatic promotion this year. We don't want to mess around in the playoffs. Baluhu then is currently top scorer in the league with 10 goals. Doing well, he's playing well, but he needs to be scoring some more if we want to get on and into the Premier League. That's all for now then, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Take it easy. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button down below. And until next time, drift out.